morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for staying to the to my talk. Uh, I will present the uh, how to study types on Mars using JMars. So, for those who are unfamiliar with types. Uh, types are igneous uh, intrusions uh, into pre-existing layers, and uh, here are some examples. This is an example in Arizona, and you can see this is the type. And this is a classic uh, example of a uh, sheep wolf type, and you can see the erosion remnant uh, of the type. However, on Mars, it's uh, uh, much difficult to detect types because they are uh, because on Mars the erosion rate is uh, smaller than Earth, and uh, due to the limitation of the previous uh, uh, remote sensing data, the resolution is lower, so it's not easy. Uh, fortunately, as the higher resolution data came and. Uh, people are able to detect them directly using various data sets. So, in this study, we use uh, the following uh, data sets. For people like me, if I don't have JMAS, it will be a headache, because you will learn how to process different uh, data sets. For this data, I use it as a background, and uh, derive the temperature and thermal inertia for CDX and high-rise imaging because they have higher resolu uh, spatial resolution. So I use it to study the detailed geomorphology. And for prism data, I can derive composition information. So uh, for this study, I, I mainly use uh, JMAS and uh, DaVinci as mentioned uh, by the last talk. Uh, JMAS is uh, developed uh, by Mass Space uh, Flight Facility at Arizona State University and is a geospatial information system to plan mission and uh, data analysis. I will show you how I use this to uh, do this study. When we, start, when we began to study a new region, we already have some ge uh, geologic maps. And this is a map done by uh, Dome and War 2001. And uh, I output it from ArcGIS and uh, uh, input it in, into JMAS. In addition, I shared it with the polygons uh, worldwide. They don't need to worry about the projection. They don't need to worry about uh, the te te technical details. And they can just use it and discuss with me. And uh, we discuss our new results. So right now, you, what you see is a molar uh, color-coded uh, map. And uh, you can see different elevations throughout this region. This is a JMAS layer, and besides that, you can draw a precise profile using JMAS with the actual data. So let's zoom it in a little bit. This is the famous IR imaging. That means cooler in the daytime. And uh, I can use JMAS to draw region of interest uh, and use different color to show different type of material. Besides that, I can import different data sets. This is uh, some inertial data uh, derived uh, from famous IR image. And uh, I can colorize it in JMAS and show the thermal inertia. You can search whatever uh, constraint you want in the JMAS seamless layer and to get the data you want. Besides that, uh, when you want to do composition analysis, you can search uh, prism layer in JMAS 
you can choose the app, uh, you can choose uh, different kinds of presentation such as MSP and uh, FRD. And this, uh, and when you process it in DaVinci and, and display it in JMAS, you can see variations in different indices. And uh, this helps you to locate your study region. We can also uh, display high resolution CTX image and high res image. You can see the details of the uh, dikes. As I mentioned before, uh, besides the Prism MSP data, you can also display uh, some false color image processed in DaVinci. This is a uh, uh, Prism FRT uh, decorrelation stretch, the OEVN2 index, uh, index map, and uh, uh, plus pyrosine and uh, uh, high calcium pyrosine and low calcium pyrosine uh, is very beautiful uh, in heat. So, uh, after talking all this, uh, the take home message is uh, JMAS is. Uh, uh, easy to query different uh, uh, data sets with different constraints. I think they include the uh, theme is uh, Chris, uh, Omega, and uh, uh, some and uh, the um, CDX, high rise, and uh, a lot of uh, data sets. And it's easy to do quantitative measurements. You can do measurements on ambition, you can do uh, measurements on um, Thermal inertia and uh, whatever uh, numeric uh, map you have, you can do the measurements. It's easy to visualize different uh, data sets. You can overlay different data sets. Uh, for example, some spectral information over high uh, resolution DTM and uh, uh, etc. And uh, you can share your data product to your colleagues very easily, and uh, uh, they can enhance your teamwork. I think I should stop here. Thank you. Questions for the speaker? I'm Joe Tarazono from the University of Aizu in Japan, and thank you for your presentation. And one question is that how, in the dream model or some other system, how to discriminate users? Because you mentioned in your presentation that in dream model, you um, teamwork may be very easy. So I guess some user control is in that. How did the uh, Ah, how um, in JMAS or some system does um, user control? User control? Yes, um, because, that, um, yeah, because um, you are uploading a JMAS as a, a, as a user, user ID and as a colleagues when you upload uh, some data as a different user ID. It's some, so the, I guess and um, some mechanism to discriminate user is strongly required. So I think the question is, um, if you have a team working on a project, how do you keep track of which team member is contributing what data products to the project and the analysis? Does exact, that exactly. And maybe a JMARS person would like to answer that? Okay. Uh, I think it's both well. <laughs> this is a good, good segue since I'm also the next presenter. Um, but I think the answer to your question is JMARS allows you to log into the tool and it actually keeps track of your credentials that way. And then you can upload your own data and you can choose then other team members that you want to share it to by putting in their user ID and saying share this with them. And that data set becomes available just to them. Um, and then how you track who works on what, you have to do that on your own. Uh, with your team. They can't modify. They can't modify. Okay. Get some browsing. Other users' data. 
Okay. Okay. I'm here as a new fly. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I guess there are no other questions. All right.